Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together, and that is an important piece of what we are about to discuss. We have some breaking news that we need to break down. We are going to talk about the pistol brace rule and how it received an injunction today and what it means for you. This is a big one. You're going to need to send this one out and spread this information and everything we linked in the description box below for your review if you need more information to send out to the right people. And if you are new or you're a returning viewer, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, and making sure you turn the notification bell on. We need as many people as we can to get into the fold with us to pass the blessing of the Second Amendment along to the next generation through content just like this and thank you so much in advance for your consideration and today while we go into this breaking rule this is a ruling that's coming out of the fifth circuit this is fpc based i have a special treat for you i have a contributor that i'm going to introduce you right now this is something that i've been working on with this individual for about three to four months Katie Stone, who you have prior known from Classic Firearms, has joined Langley Outdoors Academy underneath her own channel, Stone Second Sense. We are driving the Second Amendment forward, utilizing a different medium, and we would love to have your support, and I want to introduce her to, her to you right now. Katie, thank you so much for jumping on to share this great news. How are you doing? Tell us a little bit about, about your channel, and then we are going to hit this. Hi, Braden. How's it going? I'm super excited to be on your channel. I'm super glad that your you know, audience is willing to actually listen to me. <laughs> I hope they are. Well, I mean, I guess we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see what um, happens. So I'm glad that you and I were able to work together and, you know, start off our, our um, my little shorts channel we got going on. Over at uh, Stone Second Sense, we try and take the things that you are not able to hit on, like smaller things that are important, but maybe you're not able to make an entire video out of. Just kind of hop on those and kind of get people informed that way. We also hit on other things just trying to give a little high level and then let you, you know, dig in down in the trenches and get into it. Love it. Love it. And it is an awesome, awesome pleasure to have you along with us. And guys, if you are looking for a shorts channel that's on the edge of the Second Amendment and driving our rights forward, Stone Second Sense. There'll be a link down in the description box below. It's worth your time. And in fact, to brag on her a little bit, she's about to pass a million views per month and she's only been doing it three months and we are excited to see the future together. But with that said, let's get into the breaking news and we'll bring her in to get her take on it in a second. But here's what happened today. And this is massive. FPC secures injunction against ATF pistol brace rule. We'll seek clarification on the scope of ruling. Now, this is from the FPC's site. It's linked down there along with Katie's channel. Now, what you can basically take from this is before this ruling was implemented, this was the ATF's rule around pistol braces, the Fifth Circuit has issued an injunction. Now, there's pros and there's cons, and we're about to break into that. But here's the second piece, and this is kind of what happened that brought us to date, and then I'll share the actual ruling with you. New Orleans, Louisiana. Today, Firearms Policy Coalition released a statement on the Fifth Circuit's order granting an injunction pending appeal in Mock v. Garland, FPC and FPC Action Foundation's federal lawsuit challenging the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives' recent rule reclassifying brace pistols as National Firearm Act regulated short barrel rifles. The injunction, along with other case documents, can be viewed at fpclaw.org. Like I said, it's right down there. That's what has happened. This is the payoff. This isn't crucial. Per the Fifth Circuit's order, Quote, it is ordered that the appeal is expedited to the next available oral argument calendar. It is further ordered that the appellate's opposed motion for preliminary injunction pending appeal is granted as to the plaintiffs in this case. FPC intends to seek clarification as to who is covered under the scope of injunction. Now, there's two pieces here. Katie, I'm going to bring you back in. So on the high level, they received an injunction here from the Fifth Circuit. This essentially means that they may have to pause on the implementation. What do you think that means to viewers who are watching this and on your channel as well? Well, Braden, we know this is a huge infringement. It's been the entire time because it wasn't something that Congress made an actual ruling on. It was just something that, well, the ATF decided they were going to make, you know, into a rule now. So it wasn't Congress's decision, which means that it's a huge negative effect on all of our viewers, yours and mine. And any other individual who decides to be involved in the Second Amendment at all, whether it be any types of firearms. We know that the ATF likes to overreach and, and there's some times that they get away with it, but this is one of those times where we're fine back. So I'm glad to see where this leads in the future. Just everyone needs to stay, stay informed and know what's going on. No, that's, that's very, very well said. So now one of the things that we hit on this channel and you've been involved as we've been kind of behind the scenes on this a little bit, 
One of the things that we hit on this channel that's so crucial is once you just said, the ATF made up a rule whole cloth. And if you're watching this and you're kind of new on the brace thing, take the brace out of it for a second and imagine any other thing in our culture that a executive bureaucracy just decided to make a rule and becomes the power of law without Congress, the legislative body, actually making a law. Think about a cell phone, think about a car, think about anything that you use in a day-to-day -day basis that is something that's a part of your life that an executive bureaucracy like the CDC or the ATF or any other bureaucracy just made up. And that's kind of what we're getting to. But there's some awesome stuff that the FPC actually released. And listen to this to kind of put this in perspective. Quote, we are very excited and encouraged by the Fifth Circuit's decision this morning, said Cody J. Wisniewski, Senior Attorney for Constitutional Litigation at FPC Action Foundation. Quote, we intend to ask the court for additional information about who is covered under, under the injunction, but cannot stress enough just how important this decision is. The fight is far from over, but this is a huge victory in the battle against the ATF's unconstitutional and unlawful brace rule. Now, Katie, I'll bring you in one more time on this. Something that we've talked about a lot on this channel is with the ATF making up these rules whole cloth and kind of reinventing and redefining words to basically suit their gun control needs, Across the board, we've seen different rulings and different cases come up that will eventually curtail the power of these bureaucracies. From your perspective, your shorts, from your angle of the audience that you've garnered thus far, what do you think that these types of infringements, these types of things, if they were stopped, what would that do to freedom in this country? Would, that, would it be more of an expansion or would it put it back right where it belongs? Well, I mean, the thing is, I believe it's more of something that will... I, w I can't say it would give us more freedom because there's always going to be someone who's trying to take away our freedoms, right? I mean, that's the that's the reason that the the Second Amendment exists is because of you know well the stuff they had, we had to go through, our founding fathers had to go through to get us where we are. So I don't think I don't can't say for sure that it would be more giving us more freedom, um, but I mean it was just bringing us back to claiming our freedom. You know, we got to we got to get back to where we were in order to get you know accomplish more. Right. No, I think that's a great way to put it. It's because they've lurched us so far into gun control through all these slight and subtle pushes that we're nowhere near where we started in this quest for freedom. The entire American experiment was based around freedom. It wasn't based around executive bureaucracies making laws because Congress couldn't because the representatives did not have enough power and enough uh, split. The whole point is our system is meant to represent the people, not represent the executive bureaucracies because they're utilizing that because Congress is a stalemate. And I think that's an incredibly important piece. And thank you so much, Katie, for that. Now, one of the things that I want to wrap this with is understand where this leaves us. We don't necessarily know if everyone watching this video is completely immune now to the pistol brace rule. They're asking for more clarification. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you got notification bells on, bells on so we can make sure that you get this information as we find out more. But for right now, this is an amazing win. Thank you so much for watching. Katie, thank you so much for being a contributor on this to, on today's video. And guys, make sure you check out Katie's channel. We'd love to have you over there to get a different form and a different driving of our rights. And thank you so much. I'm Braden. I'll see you later.